Hey, what's up YouTube? Eric here from Guided. We are back out at the range today. I have another rifle to set up. This rifle is actually mine. Uh, it was pretty hard to get, pretty hard to find. And uh, let me turn you around and show you what we got. This is the 75th anniversary, a model 77, 17, and a 17 Hornet. Let me open it up here and show you what it looks like. So I only seen two of these in two different stores. It's hard to see right now, but I'll get it out of there. It's stainless steel. It's got a heavier bull barrel on it, and it's threaded at the end for a suppressor or a brake. And it's got the green, brown, gray laminate stock. I got a Otter Creek Labs Titanium, the TI-22 suppressor. But it took me a while to find this rifle, um, and I wanted to run the suppressor on it. And I'm interested to see how this suppressor does. The ammo I went with is I just bought a case of this. 17 Hornet ammo is hard to find. There's not a lot of options out there, so this is what I was finding most of, and the other stuff that I was finding, it just didn't seem like there was much of it. So I bought a case of this. Hopefully it shoots. Uh, if it doesn't, I guess uh, if any of you guys want to buy some, I guess I'll have it. <laughs> but uh, this is my little adapter for my, uh, my phone scope. I film through my spotting scope, which is a Koa TSN884. Koa spotter. I run these Impact Sports muffs. My Garmin Chrono. I got my gunsmith and screwdriver kit. This is Callahan Midway USA has this. And then I have a torque wrench screwdriver off of Amazon. Um, the scope that I'm going to be putting on this. Um, and the reason why I'm putting this on is because I don't have too many scopes anymore that have a one inch tube. And this, this uh, gun come with rings, one inch tube rings. So I figured, you know what, that's just sitting, sitting on the shelf. I might as well throw that on there. This is a four and a half to 14. And this is actually a VX3 tactical. Anyway, got my call wheel rest and I got my backstop down there. So I'm excited about putting this rifle together. I've been wanting to buy one of these, and every time they come on guns.com, they'd be sold out immediately. And uh, like I said, I walked into a local gun shop, and they actually had one, and they were 12, it was 12, I think it was 12.99. And yeah, so I went into another gun shop about a week later, and I was gonna buy that first one. I didn't really didn't wanna spend $1,200, because I'm cheap. I found this one for 1,050, so. The main reason I bought this gun is this is going to be a, another varmint rifle I'll have in one of my vehicles when I'm out scouting. Um, I like to have one, at least one varmint gun, coyote gun, varmint gun, whatever, in each one of my vehicles when I'm out. Sometimes I jump, jump in one, sometimes I jump in the other one, and uh, they're basically beaters. But I'm going to walk down to the backstop and put a target up and uh, we'll get rolling. I'm also looking forward to seeing how the suppressor does. It's a 22 suppressor. I called Otter Creek Labs and asked them. And they said that the, that thing's rated up to a, I think it's a 5.7 by 28. They said it should work. Anyway, I'm put this up, get this target up, and we'll start shooting. So for those of you who haven't seen my videos, this backstop I made just gonna run through it real quick. This is eight inches pine board. This is a horse stall mat that I put on the front of this. This is actually what I put on top of my shooting bench. And then just one by um, pine. Eight inches of sand in here. And I need to fill this up a little bit more. But I haven't had anything go through this other than uh, the, the last 300 PRC that went through the top where there was no sand. But it nothing has gone through this yet. And eight inches of sand has stopped. Eight inches of sand has stopped. Uh, 300 PRC, 400 Legend, 7 millimeter rim mag, and 6.5 PRC. So I've had a couple guys asking me about shooting uh, Barnes uh, tipped triple shock into this thing to see if it goes through. Uh, my buddy Matt, that was on the last episode, um, he has a 7 uh, seven millimeter rim mag, and he uses uh, tip triple shock out of his. So. He gave me his gun. I'm gonna shoot one round into this thing and see if it 
goes through the backstop. Some guys think it will. I don't know. I'm not so sure, but we'll find out. I'll shoot that one once and then we'll get this other gun set up and I'll start shooting it. All right, let me show you the gun here. I'm going to shoot his gun real quick to see if uh, this tip triple shock will go through. He just has a Remington 700. Um, he's got the Husqvarna on it, but what we're going to shoot here is the the Barnes Vortex 140 grain tipped TSX BT. So I got one right here. Gonna shoot this real quick and then we'll get the other gun set up. And then we'll check the backstop when we go down there to check it for the, the end. I'm gonna shoot the uh I'm gonna shoot the left target right in the middle, Diamond. There's four holes. We're just gonna see if this thing will go through. All right, I saw where I hit. We're gonna put this back in the case. All right, guys, so I got it all set up here. This is what she looks like. Those are the factory rings that came with it. A little high, but that's what I got. Um, I'll shoot it and see if it's too high, but you know, obviously I like to have that scope as close to that barrel as possible Everything's torqued down leveled loctited and We'll start shooting here. Like I said, I'm gonna run these first and then after I do get it sighted in We'll throw the suppressor on it and see if it uh, how quiet it makes it and also how much of a bullet impact it changes so it's a cute little round there a lot smaller than what I'm used to shooting all right hopefully we're on paper we'll find out here in a second right target middle diamond let's check it see where I hit hopefully I hit the paper you guys can see it there when I zoom in I hit one, two, three inches to the right of the bullseye. So I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to see if I can get a group and then I'll adjust it. Here we go. Looks like I shot it about a little over an inch below it. I'll say this, it could use a trigger job. It looks like it's probably only, probably about an inch and a half group, not real, real good, but I felt like I was holding it pretty steady. Um, the uh, trigger pull is pretty heavy. It's probably more like five or six pounds. I don't have a trigger pull gauge here, so I, uh, I'm i gonna adjust the scope up uh, over two and a half inches and up about one and a half inches. So five more rounds. Right target, top left diamond. All right, guys, so muzzle velocity on the box says 3650. I just shot 10 shots, and the average is 3530. So that's 120, I think it's 120 feet a second. The average is 3530, and it's saying 3650, so that's like 120 feet per second difference so if you guys have a 17 horn leave me a comment down below and let me know what you got what you're shooting what kind of groups you're getting in 100 yards this group looks about an inch to inch and a half at 100 yards this trigger on this thing is 
it's obviously factory non-adjustable um, pretty heavy I would say feels like six pounds five pounds I don't know but I like the rifle itself um, I just adjusted it again and uh, I'll shoot it one more time and hopefully we're zero to a hundred here and then once we are I'm gonna throw that suppressor on there and see how that thing does so I'm gonna shoot the right target top right diamond cap off get the suppressor out here I just took the cap off here and uh, we will get this thing rolling with the, with the suppressor all right so this is what we got titanium 22 cal Otter Creek labs cute little suppressor very very light titanium We'll throw it on here and get shooting. I'm not gonna put ears on for this. Suppressed 17 Hornet. Left target, top right diamond. Alright guys, I'm walking over to the backstop now. I don't know if that suppressor tightened it up or not, I doubt it. But it did look about as tight as it got out of the 20, or, yeah, I think I shot 20 shots total. We're getting over here to the backstop, I'll turn you around and show you what it looks like. Yeah, I busted through the wood there. Busted through the wood there. Us through the back. No, it didn't bust through the back. But what it did do is at the top of the sand here, because there's no sand, it's blowing the wood apart. It's blowing the wood apart down there too. So, all right, I'll show you what we got here. I bore sighted it, hit here, I shot five shots. Then I adjusted it up here. So there's five shots, one, there's two there, one, two. And then I shot that group there. This is before the suppressor. You know, those are probably inch and a half. Cause these are, this is one inch by one inch and that's from there to there is probably inch and a half. So not very good. And then I threw the suppressor on there and I shot that one and then I shot one or two other ones but then I shot two more shots right in here so it is what it is there to there's probably inch and a quarter all right guys I've got five more bullets in this box I let the presser cool down I'm gonna shoot the last five shells see how she does All right, so I let that suppressor cool down and I shot my last five shots in that box. This was the last five shots right there. Um, didn't touch anything. Obviously that's that's about as good as we're getting out of it. That's the shot out of the seven millimeter Remington mag with the tipped triple shock. Let's see if it went through. The answer is no. The tip triple shock did not go through the backstop. So it would have been right in here somewhere. So, so far, eight inches of sand has stopped everything that I've shot through it. Even the tip triple shock, which is what people were thinking that was gonna go through. So yeah, that was it right there. I'm gonna look into getting a different trigger in that gun 
and uh, if I do I will get it put in and do an update on the video so like I said if you guys have a 17 Hornet what ammo are you guys using what ammo are you guys getting the best groups with this because this this could just be the uh, trigger being so heavy um, I felt pretty solid when I was pulling the trigger so anyway hope you guys like this video like this content if you do hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video